Hey guys, so I have a haul from Ivy Sense to share with you. Um, I received a gift card for Christmas, so I went on and placed an order. Um, I think I took down or I deleted, well, all my videos got deleted, but I had a review on Ivy Sense, and I don't think I ever put it back up. But um, just to give you like a basic company overview, Ivy Sense is owned by an entrepreneur named Erin. She started the business on her own. She works out of her own apartment. It's an amazing story. I'm going to link the website, obviously, and then their YouTube channel as well. People have done reviews on them. You can find a lot on YouTube. I love this company. I I think it's, I, I've said this so many times, I love supporting smaller businesses, new business owners, people that make their own jewelry and makeup. I love it. I love it all. I think we should all support each other. And um, this company is awesome. Not only are their things really good smelling, but they're all natural. There's no animal cruelty. There's no parabens, no sulfates. And just to give you an idea of, well, parabens are controversial. I'll let you do your own research on that. People have um, researched and linked it to cancer. Some people say that they're, sorry, my nose is really runny. There's no proven data. It's a controversial subject, but the sulfates, um, Sulfates are found everywhere in your shampoos, detergents, toothpaste. It's it's basically a foaming agent. It's a cheap foaming agent. And what it does is it creates the lather that's in your toothpaste or in your hair, um, soaps, anything like that. And it's it strips your, your hair and your body and your skin of its natural oils. It's not like a harmful product. I just like to stay away from it because it's very drying, especially in my shampoos and conditioners. My hair... Um, needs to stay moisturized, moisturized and hydrated. And it's bad enough when we're using heat products and, you know, constantly washing our hair. It strips the natural oil. So that's why I always like to take, to buy products that are sulfate free. And the same goes for body soaps and scrubs, again, because you don't want your skin to dry out, especially in the winter time. I'm getting off on a tangent, but you can do your research on sulfate, um, sodium lauryl sulfate and all its little cousins basically what it is and why people don't really like it. But the good the good news is, is Ivy Sense is completely sulfate free. So their products are not gonna strip you of your natural oils. They're incredibly moisturizing. They do still lather, really good products. They recently have new packaging. In the past, if you saw my video, their bar soaps were kind of wrapped in like tissue paper. I love this packaging so much better. It's actually like in a box, in a cardboard box. Really cute like zebra, black, white, and pink, which are kind of like my favorite colors. They're actually my colors of my wedding black, white, and pink. But anyway, again, getting off tangent. Um, I picked up four of their soaps and three of their lotions. Um, they condensed their line right now. They only have soaps and lotions. Um, hoping, they'll, hoping they will expand soon to like shampoos, conditioners, and different scents. But um, this is what they look like. On the back down here is where you can find the name of your product. This is in, this is Night in Sh Shining Armor. And there's descriptions on their websites of like what this smell is and I love Knight in Shining Armor. If I can get this, they're so well made I can't even get the box open. Um, so I'm going to rip it. Knight in Shining Armor is like a raspberry lemonade scent and then they're here, they're wrapped in like, uh, I guess this is cellophane or plastic. But I mean you could smell right through the back. This smells so good. It's a beautiful fuchsia color, kind of like see-through. Um, but I love, I love, love, love their bar soaps. Like I said, they're very moisturizing. They still lather. They leave your skin smelling really good. Um, but yeah, Night and Shining Armor is, oh, it's very fruity smelling. Sweet and fruity. I wouldn't say that it's floral or anything like that, but it smells super good. I've had one of these in the past and I totally used it up. Okay, next we have Hawaiian Cake, and this is one that I, these boxes are really hard to get open. This is one that I have never tried before. Okay, here we go. It is a really pretty yellow, again, like a see-through. Um, just to give you an idea, these are, um, let me find it, 4.5 ounces. Um, like, if you go to Lush, you can cut off however much you want, but I think this, these are pretty standard, and they are 4.5 ounces. Um, it says sulfate-free hydration bar, and it's called, they call it I Smell Soaps. Um, non-toxic, veggie-based, sulfate-free, I already said that. Um, 
I'll read you on the back what it says. It says, this veggie-based bar soap is fully loaded with additive fragrances and completely void of toxic scum. Soft and gentle, it's ideal for all skin types, even sensitive or dry. Experience the softest skin you've ever felt after just one use. No sulfates, parabens, mineral oils, which mineral oil is another product ingredient you don't want, you want to stay away from. Um, triclosan, GMOs, phthalates, and or animal cruelty. Um, and then in the back, this is really cool. On their ingredients, they have some highlighted in pink and some in black. The pink are naturally derived ingredients, and the black are synthetically de derived ingredients. So if you're one that's, like, obsessive and reads ingredients on everything, that's that. Anyway, let's get back to the good stuff. Hawaiian cake kind of smells like um, pineapple. Pineapple goodness. Um... It almost reminds me of a cake my mom's make. My mom makes in the summer. It's like a pineapple vanilla cake. It's very, again, fruity. It smells very fresh, very fresh and pineapple-y. I like that a lot. All right, next is ozone. And I bought this for my fiance because if you guys remember my last video, this is a more masculine smelling soap and he loved it. Like. Oh, I love how this smells. I, I'm usually not a fan of, like, masculine scents. There's some of his colognes that I'm obsessed with that he wears that I love, but I don't want to smell like it myself. But ozone is one that I use as well. It smells, it's more on the masculine side, but it's a very fresh, like, incredibly clean, fresh smell. Um, I don't think Nick would use either of these, but he um, really liked ozone, and he used it up till it was, like, bitty um the last time that we had it so I wanted to get this again for him because I'm always like preaching about that soap has crap in it you shouldn't have so he's always like well I don't know what to use so this smells so it's like it's like manly but it's not like it's manly but you could easily put it on yourself and be completely comfortable like people aren't gonna think you smell like a guy or something um it's just a very fresh clean smell and the last one I got is birthday cake and if you guys remember I got this in my last video and I said I don't really think I'm gonna like this because I'm not gonna really want to smell like a big cupcake but I ended up loving this when I used it the last time hence why I repurchased it this is like a really um creamy pink color it's not see-through and it does it smells like vanilla frosting slash birthday cake batter and you wouldn't think you'd want your body to smell like this but oh my gosh when I use this in the shower it smells so good this is more of like a bakery scent, and I love it. Love it, love it, love it. I was pleasantly surprised with how much I liked that one the last time. Okay, and then they're Icing Body Frosting's Whipped Dream Body Cream. Again, no sulfates, parabens, mineral oils, blah, blah, blah. And this one is in Night and Shining Armor. So that it looks like, it almost looks like, like frosting that you get out of uh, the little tubs. Nick is sick. <laughs> To ice your cupcakes and cakes. What? Making another video. He's being such a baby. Um, these are amazing. I have several of these. I've used up a couple of them. They're just so, so, so moisturizing. They're not greasy feeling. You're not feeling greasy after you use it. Like, you know, there's sometimes you put lotions on and like you have to wait like an hour to put your clothes on because you just want it to like sink into your skin. This does sink into your skin, but it leaves behind like the softest skin ever. It's so nice. It's very creamy. It's a little bit on the thick side, but it's so, 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 so creamy. Um, and I just love it. And as you can see, it does not look at all greasy. It just absorbs, but it's still, you still feel like you have something on, but it's not like going to make your skinny jeans go on tough or something. But this smells exactly like the soap. I'm one that when I find like a, even I used to do this at Bath and Body Works when I would buy their body, their body soaps, which I don't anymore because they're full of sulfates. I would always get like the uh, matching body lotion or body butter because you just want to smell like that. And then I'd get their body sprays and everything like that. So I always try to get the, the same lotion if I can as I do the soap because then your body smells like that all day. And it doesn't just stop with your soap. But Night and Shining Armor is probably my favorite. I would definitely be safe to say it's my favorite. But I just love how like... 
It's so whipped. It almost looks like a rose. Very creamy. Very, very creamy. It's really hard to find. Uh, usually there's no sulfates in moisturizers, but it's so hard to find moisturizers these days that are free of parabens. So when I find one, I'm all over it. Oh, this smells so good. This is birthday cake. I don't even have to look at the name. It smells like when your mom is baking in the kitchen and she walks away from the counter and leaves the tub of icing there and you just want to like lick it and eat the whole tub with a spoon. I could so eat this in like one sitting. Like honestly, if I left this out on the counter and disguised the name of it, my fiance would probably try to eat this thinking it's like frosting. It smells so good. Oh, I love it. I can't stop. I can't stop. It really... All, truly smells like birthday cake remix if you've ever had it from cold stone creamery it smells amazing like honestly if i if i didn't tell someone and i just like gave this to them to frost a cupcake they totally would eat it without even thinking twice that it was a lotion or a moisturizer <laughs> love it well, i don't remember what i got here what is this one? Oh, this is the hawaiian cake oh <laughs> they do have these little shields I guess this one that I took off was like stuck to the top, but they do have like a covering if that matters to you. Oh, I think honestly, they smell the same as the body soaps, but the scents are a lot more vibrant. Like they come out a lot more in the lotions. This is like such pineapple goodness. If you don't, if you don't like pineapple, you probably won't like this, but I love it. It smells so good. I'm not even exaggerating. I wish I could like put this up and let you guys smell it. It smells so good. And you know, her scents aren't overpowering where you like, somebody's going to be like, oh, somebody drowned themselves in a shower of perfume. It's not like that. It's, it's very subtle smelling, but it's, it's like the perfect amount of smell. I love it. So that is my haul from Ivy Scents. I absolutely love this company. I totally support it 100%. I definitely encourage you guys to go check out their things, especially if you're trying to be more conscious of the ingredients that you're using. Um, you can rest assured that this company is 100% natural and amazing, and it's nothing's tested on animals. It's, it's a great company, and um, people always ask me, like, because I, I always talk about my shampoos and conditioners, it's easier, I find, to find those nowadays that are sulfate-free, but people always ask me what kind of body moisturizers and lotion and body washes that I use because those are really hard to find that are sulfate-free. So I would definitely encourage you guys to check out Ivy Scents when the next time you're in the market for some more things for your shower and your body. Um, it's really, honestly, it's really hard to find bar soaps that are free of all those detergents. And usually I, I haven't used bar soaps since probably I was little because I didn't know any better. But the bar soaps are so, so drying. It's easier to find like liquid soaps that are sulfate free. But that's why I love Ivy Scents because they have bar soaps that are the like complete opposite of what you would expect. They're very moisturizing. So uh, I think I don't have to say anymore. You guys know I love this company. I hope that you'll check it out. If you do, come back and let me know what you got, what you thought. Um, I will say their other scent that one is one of my favorites is called Sandcastle, and I love it, but it's very summery, beachy, like tropical smelling, so I didn't want to get it now for the winter, but if you are in a tropical location or if you need something to take on a cruise or, you know, to a hot island, some kind of body stuff, I definitely would recommend Sandcastle. They have another one, I think, called Milk and Honey, and it's an almond-scented one, and I hate the smell of almonds, like amaretto, and ugh, I don't like any of it, so I don't even want to attempt that one. But it's just to each their own, their own, your own personal preference of what kind of scents and smells that you like. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Thank you so much for being here, and I will see you soon. Bye.